Oh gosh, I somehow I hit I hit the uh, the button that turned it off. So what I'll have to do is to play play the first portion of the video and then I'll play this last portion and I'll take another video of the videos being played on my computer and again I'll just have one one video. But anyhow, I was talking about this Global Hawk and I had it inside and uh uh tethered it down and turned the throttle on the transmitter full on and boy does it ever scream and I'm again this summer uh, this coming summer uh, it's going to be in the air too if you notice it's got pretty small wheels and uh, out at our field we have a grass field uh, the Bethany County Remote Control Flyers Club we fly out at, at the Petersville uh, a closed landfill and it is a grass runway and I don't think these t those t wheels are so small but the good thing is uh, they have done the final grading for a fabric runway and I'm sure well I was that last out there about a week ago and uh, it looked to me like it was ready to have the fabric ready to have the fabric laid down Oh, there's, well, before I hang up, or before I shut the video off, this is a plane that was given to me by one of my friends. His father had it hanging in his garage, and it had been there like for 30 years. And the guys at the club tell me that this is really a, a vintage plane, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix it up. I've already, I've, I've ordered, uh, uh, ordered uh, four, four servos. I can't remember where I ordered them from. Uh, maybe it was from Hobby King. I don't know. Uh, but anyhow, I've got the four servos. The next thing will be to, uh, Gary's going to help me, Gary Waters. I've mentioned his name a time or two. But he's going to uh, he, he's gonna get see if the, we can get the motor running. And if that happens, then uh, this winter, and I've, ordered, uh, I've already ordered covering for the wing. This has got a, uh, this is covered with a process. It's like paper and then with many layers of dope on it. It's the way they used to do it. I don't know what they tell me. is like 20, 25, 30 years ago before, uh, I guess it's before Ultra Coat came out. You know, I'm not in the, I'm not in the hobby. I haven't been in the hobby long enough to, to know. Uh, the, I don't have the information that all these old timers in the club have. So I wish I did. I wish I had been in, the, been in it for many years, but, but I haven't. Anyhow. So that is going to be the end of the video. I hope I've successfully proven to you uh, that uh, the ESC and the motor both are bad. And again, I don't know which I don't know which knocked the other out. I don't know whether it was the ESC went and knocked the motor out, or the motor went out and and all of a sudden the ESC was pulling too many amps, or too many amps was being pulled through the ESC. I guess that's how you say it and cause the ESC to go up. I, I don't know. I, anyhow, but I do, uh, like I said, I, I have already ordered a replacement for the, the ESC and the motor, and I suspect the fir this first one took 17 days to get here, so I assume, uh, what what is it now? It's a 20... Gosh, what, uh, where's my glass? There we go. I took my glasses off. I can't see anything. It's the 20, well, it's, it's 20, oh, it's about to be the 24th. Uh, yeah, 24th Wednesday and Thanksgiving uh, the fall, next day, Thursday. So, with all that said, uh, I'm going to shut this, I'll be shutting this video off, and like I said, I'll, I'll uh, go in and I'll take the first, there's two videos now on the camera, uh, and I'll take the first one, I'll play it, I'll set the camera up on a tripod on this on my computer screen and I'll play the first video let it be recorded and then without stopping the camera I'll I'll clear out the first video and start the second video so there will be a pause in between uh, but nevertheless it's still going to be one file one video that I will put out on YouTube which uh, allow you guys to not have to fool around with two different links so uh, with that said, uh, I'm going to, gosh, what time is it? It is 11 minutes till 12. I need to be getting to bed. And I'm sure, uh, of course, you're going to be watching this in the, day, in the daytime. And 
you'll be all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and I don't know what I'll be doing. I'll be I'll probably be doing I'll be working on a plane or a boat or something. But anyhow, uh uh hope you enjoy the football. All the football games on Thursday. I know I'm going to be watching a couple of them. And or maybe I might go out to the field and fly the fly zone calypso cuz I that hasn't been up in the air for it's been a week or so because our weather hasn't been that great here. It's been a lot of wind. Uh, but I've had that plane for about, uh, I guess, three months now. And I've already racked up about 50 flights on it. Just love it. Uh, nothing, even though I can't, I'm sorry it didn't come from Hobby King. And I'm sure you've got a glider, a powered glider, that works just as fine as this. But the reason I got this one is because I happened to be out at, out at the club uh, field, and the guy who, uh, Jason Mao, in our club, he had a fly zone Calypso and was flying it, and boy, it was just so beautiful up in the air. Just, just, he was, I think he was in a giant thermal, uh, at least enough of a thermal that it wasn't descending, and he was just gliding around. He just, every once in a while, he'd tweak the rudder and cause it to turn just a little bit. He'd let it go maybe uh, 50 yards or something like that. He'd tweak it again and just very slowly it just glide around. Uh, I I had to have one. So I came right home. As soon as I got home, I ordered the Fly Zone Calypso. And then I turned right around and from Walmart, I ordered a Ozark camping chair with a high back, high back uh, headrest. And so when I go out to the field with that fly zone, I uh, get it up in the air and I sit down in that chair, put my head back, and it is so relaxing. If you if you have never flown a glider, boy, you better get one because that's the only way to. It's a that's really a good way to relax. Let me tell you. Okay, I've totally got off the trail of the boat. Uh, I'm sure you could have quit watching this video and maybe you did and maybe you won't even be seeing this but if you are still watching uh, I wish you a happy Thanksgiving and uh, and I don't and, and and also I want to say I'm not being politically correct but I want to wish you a Merry Christmas I'm kind of a, I'm se I'll be 77 in January and I haven't just I haven't gotten used to saying happy holidays I hope that doesn't offend anybody that's watching this video, but like I'm from the old school, and it's Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. It's not Happy Holidays and Happy New Year. It's Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Been hearing it all my life. Been saying it all my life. So have a good Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas, and I wish you health and happiness in the new year. And uh, I guess that's it. Uh, I certainly hope you rule my favor on this, and 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 uh, I'm, I, what I'm actually looking for is a uh, refund, uh, not a refund in cash, but I, I'd like to have the uh, the amount that I paid for this, including shipping. I'd like that uh, put into my bonus point account, and I'll then turn around at some point and I'll I'll be ordering something else from Hobby King. I'm sure within the next month, sometime through the winter. And probably long before that. So again, that's this is the end of the video. I'm stopping it right now. Goodbye.